The Hidden Works of Ding Darling is a, a hidden gem, as it were. It, I didn't know that much about Ding Darling. Uh, the more I read about him, the more intrigued I became. And the, not direct, but the indirect connection with Ray Harm uh, was also of great interest. We have some of his prints. We have some of his prints, and, so we and I was able to... I was able to snap a picture of Ray Harm's son next to the print that I saw partially finished when I was in graduate school at University of Kentucky. Ray Harm came and spoke, and he had that print of the, the, the raccoon family. And so that was very special to be able to see him. And just I'll show that to my kids, that I got a picture of Ray Harm's son. I think Ray Harm captured that little boy in all of us that wants to go out into the woods. And his work is definitely of a certain period. You, you don't see that work anymore. But in the same respect, it, it does. It brings out that little boy, whether you're 80 or you're six, when you see his artwork. I love this exhibit. I don't. I think I knew about Ding Darling, but this uh, certainly gives me a, a better feel for it. I thought like the cartoons everywhere. I thought that was really cool. And the uh, also his drawings he did. He's, yeah. He really was a good artist as well. What I found special about the Ding Darling exhibit is the combination of his his ideas ideals really of conservation and how he incorporated those in his um, his drawings, in his cartoons. Just like these ones listed here, when he's talking about what is Mother Earth going to think when she sees what we've done to her land. I mean, and to, to be able to get that across to a big wide audience through the news um, paper is fabulous. So that was really my take home message from this whole, like, whole exhibit, I loved it. As you can see, one man's time travel through history, through all of the turmoil that's been around for years, all the beauty of all the art, the beauty of nature, and yet the, the tragedy that's existed in the past that still is with us, but one man can make a tremendous difference with his art, with his cartoons, with his integrity, I think is irreplaceable. This picture that we're standing in front of, this was my introduction to Ray Harm. And I had a good friend as a wedding present that gave me a smaller print of this, this painting. And I was excited to get it. I still have it. But just to see a larger print, that was exciting to me about this exhibit. The message that I take home at the end of the day from the Ding Darling ex exhibit is one, his talent and his vision, his concern about conservation, which he was concerned about in the 30s and we better listen to him 80 years later or it's going to be too late. And also just his understanding of the way the political system worked. Uh, it would be interesting to know in today's world, with newspapers dying, with uh, media taking a whole different, I mean, media is so different than it was in his day. Where would, if, if, he, if he were born now, if he were just starting his career, uh, what, how, would, how would he interact with the world? And I think it'd be very much the same way.